the hidden hedonist because you're worth it Hi, Tony here, welcome back to the channel and yet another helmet review, this time another open face and one that I've been looking forward to getting my hands on for quite some time, it's the Hedon Hedonist. It is a premium luxury helmet and given the materials and its construction, it's priced as such. And before the keyboard warriors go to town in the comments section, I'll come on to my thoughts on some of these items a bit later on. But I just wanted to review this helmet based purely on its own merits. There is no dispute in the fact that this is a beautifully constructed helmet the shell itself is a carbon fiberglass and carbon composite which makes for a very light and I think it is one of the lightest ECE rated open face helmets on the marketplace and you can see where Hedden put their skills into the construction from the calfskin leather trim to the suede liner everything about these helmets is spot on and you've got quite a lot of choice when it comes to the finishes as well as the shell colors this particular color is ash and is one of the more popular ones and i love the look of this with that lighter tan trim plenty of choice in terms of the types of badge and colors and finish that you have on there and actually there is a custom fit option on the website so if you want to go onto the website choose your shell color choose all the different trim colors badge colors everything to get how you want you can do that there is a premium to the price to get that done obviously but that gives you the ultimate ability to really tailor the helmet to your looks and get it straight from the manufacturer exactly how you want it a quick word on fitment the shell sizing does come up some more and they do a multitude of shell sizes and the shell sizes are tailored to the actual size of the helmet themselves but i found and having a look online anecdotally i found that you do need to go one size up from your regular i'm a large in pretty much every single helmet i've tried on the Hedonist, I went to an XL and it fits me really nicely. And it's got a really nice low profile. It sits very close to your head. You don't get that bobble head effect. I would say it's more suited to an intermediate oval into a round head shape. Uh, I didn't have too much problem with it. Uh, no real pressure points or anything like that. It does bed down very quickly. So like any helmet, you need to have it nice and snug. And as you wear it, that's just gonna settle in, ease up a little bit and I found it to be incredibly comfortable and it's one of those helmets that once you've been wearing it for a little while it feels like you're not actually wearing it at all. You've got that nice snug uh, shape to the helmet which pushes slightly on your jawline a uh, bit just below the ears and that helps to keep it quiet and this is a pretty quiet helmet. I've made a comparison to many of the open face helmets that I've tried and it is much better and that's down to the quality of the lining I guess and also the way that it fits snugly just under your ears just helps to keep that noise at bay. So having ridden for a while with the helmet, what are my thoughts? Well, it is a beautifully constructed helmet. The quality of its construction, the quality of the materials is second to none. It's nice and cool on the head. That uh, leather lining inside is really plush uh, and keeps you uh, pretty cool. I've got other helmets with synthetic liners which are much sweatier. Comfort wise, well, if the headness fits you, I think you'll struggle to find a more comfortable helmet on the marketplace. It is a, a luxury item that you'll really enjoy owning and really enjoy wearing. That headness in that finish is 309 pounds. That's not a cheap helmet. There are other open face helmets that are around that price, but 300 pounds for a helmet is still a lot. Having said that, it is a luxury item. It's CE rated. It is a beautiful helmet to own. And sometimes you just want to have something really nice. 
that gets me onto this hipster biker bullshit as well. And uh, I've actually been called a hipster, which I found quite funny. I'm a middle-aged man, my hair's thinning, and I'm about as cool as a fridge that's not been plugged in for three days. And I think that hipster word is overused, and certainly it's a word that's been used uh, for this helmet. And people talk about image and things are expensive and you're buying it just for the look. Well, I've got news for those people. Motorcycling has always been about image. That's always been a big part of motorcycling. Yeah, if you're commuting every day or doing touring, you want stuff that's functional, but you also want stuff that looks good. The majority of people do. So as for people overusing the H word, well, that's fine. They can use that all they want. Sometimes you want to spend good money on nice stuff that makes you feel nice about riding. And the Headness helmet is one of those things. It looks special, it feels special, and it makes you feel special when you're riding. Anything that makes you feel better about riding has got to be a good thing. There's already divisions in motorcycling. Why somebody cares what some Somebody else wants to wear or what somebody else wants to ride I don't really understand uh, we all ride bikes for the same reason is because we all love being out on two wheels so I think the less we see of this name calling and division uh, then the better and I think in reality it's only the Muppets online generally when you get people together it doesn't matter what bike they've turned up on they'll all have a common interest and they'll all stop and they'll chat and they'll get on the for want of a better expression new wave custom scene always gets a lot of grief uh, around this but actually I think you'll find it's one of the most welcoming scenes there is uh, if you go down to the bike shed I'm a member at the bike shed in London if you go down there it doesn't really matter what bike you turn up on people will stop and chat to you it's not elitist people won't get turned away so the less of this misused hipster bullshit terminology that we get the better so I hope you've enjoyed this quick review of the Head and Hedonist. Uh, it's a helmet that I really like. It's one that I'm happy to have in my collection. It will come out on sunny days and it will come out for special occasions, but it is a beautiful thing to wear and to own. If you've got any comments or questions, well, you know where to leave those. And until next time, I just want to say thanks for watching. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.